This is Salamancer, and you are watching Sal TV, Competitive Team Fortress 2, a Thanksgiving cast today. I'm going to be in for a wild ride, I know, because I have heard such great things about this game. Uh, if you don't know about it, I guess we can we can talk a little bit. But if you don't want it spoiled, go ahead and close your ears for the next like 10 seconds or so, and just watch the pretty pictures. So, the winner of this match is fairly obvious. You know who it was, because you know who won and never like dropped a single map. And yet, I heard this is one of the most exciting and amazing games ever, so we're going to go ahead and watch the Boomer cam as he gets out to mid. This is classic mix-up versus the Spates Whales. Boomer taking it for the air shots, not going to get those yet, but the uh, Whales are pretty good right now, looking like they're in a position to win this mid-fight. Nice kill by Dummy right there with the pipes, and already things are looking solid here. This was, of course, played at the LAN. Oh my god, Dummy going insane. This was played at the LAN in Dallas just a week ago and so everybody is on like zero ping maybe one they're on like one no they're on five ping that's a little weird but uh yeah the servers are basically sitting right next to them and the whales are gonna go ahead and capture that first uh, second point of their enemies very quickly hard blue on the sniper ruin on the engineer uh enigma is gonna go ahead and play pyro which is a little bit of a weird choice for this map because you don't normally see uh uh, Pyro being that effective in Snake Water, but you know what? Enigma's going to go ahead and use the boxes to try and hide as much as possible while that st sentry gun is still dealing a lot of damage to this incoming Uber. Uh, the whale's completely wiping out here, and there was just way too much damage on the field, I think, but the heavy Blaze was doing some good damage of his own. He just wasn't able to quite finish things off. Platinum wants to help defend this last point with his pain train, but it doesn't even matter. Mix up with a very solid defense. The whales, uh, I, I mean, we could almost, like, go back and slow that down to halftime and try and figure out what happened there because the whales pushed in. They just pushed in against a, a very weird set of off classes that I don't think they were prepared for. Uh, scout coming in trying to stop this though. Platinum going to get saved by his friendly scouts and these scouts are so good by the way. Ruin and Enigma are insanely good. Uh, you do have that second point captured right now by mix up. The whales were trying their best to uh to, to do a recap of that, and they may still be able to, but you have Dummy having to back off here, maybe get some heals and get some ammo from his med. Meanwhile, Ruin still doing his best to defend things. No, though, Clockwork gets in. Remember, Clockwork is on the whales this season. Clockwork got in there and destroyed Pure. It's a beautiful kill. Ruin is going to go ahead and go for some kills of his own here behind enemy lines, though. Uh, where are the enemies going to respawn from? Oh, he does. He finds the med. Is he going to be able to get the med? No, Ruin taken down in a rare moment of imperfection. Ruin usually gets those med picks like a crazy person. But the whales are feeling good about that. They've got a huge uber advantage now and they should be able to push into their opponent's second point once again. And mix up can't really do a lot about this, but you know what is interesting? They once again have Enigma playing the heavy weapons guy. That's a that's a weird choice by him. You don't usually see this much heavy weapons guy play and for good reason. He's too slow. He can't get away from the damage. So you saw he died there. He died very very badly. Dummy took him down. Now mix up losing Hard Blue and Platinum too. Boomer and YZ50. The soldier and scout for the whales. Doing an amazing, amazing job right now. Clockwork's going to walk in and start trying to get some capture time. And he's got two health left, but it doesn't even matter. Mix up loses the first round. Mix up, of course, heavily the favorites to win this game. But the Space Whales, they want this. And actually, this game came, I'm going to spoil it once again, but this game came right after, I think, the Space Whales, the number three seed, actually defeated the number two seed in the opening round of the playoffs. So the Whales are on fire right now. Platinum going to go ahead and take that the, the health kit right there. Not Doesn't want to give it to his soldiers, doesn't want to give it to his men, he just wants to keep it. I'm just kidding. They respawn after like 10 seconds. But Platt's trying to help his team cover the high ground here with those sticky bombs, and yet, Harblow and Ruin down right away. Blaze is going to start making a big jump in, going for Pure. Takes a bit of damage himself here, though, and he's only got three health, nine health, I'm sorry, one now. I was looking at Boomer. But somehow, Blaze got away from that with his one health, just one little, like, pellet from a scatter gun or a shotgun or something would have killed him, but Blaze is back in, doing a furious amount of damage to Mixup, and Mixup are still in with this, too. They've decided to pop their Uber. They don't want to lose this mid-fight. This is weird play from them. But, I, you know, I, I'm not going to second guess, because every time I second guess these teams, I'm always wrong. That was uh, Mezer trying to get a kill, and oh no, Blaze tried to get the uh, the escape plan kill on Pure. Didn't quite work out. Pure was able to just barely hit him with that last needle and take down Blaze. But Blaze, of course, is such an amazing soldier, too. You have to, you have to bear in mind, every single one of these players is super, super awesome. And Mezer taking some hits right now, but he is going to have some expert dodging skills as well. 
Ruin now down to a nice pipe from Dummy, and Dummy is going to continue trying to lay down damage, even though his team has gotten forced out. They've lost three players, including both their scouts and one of their soldiers, and so when you are playing three against five, that is not a very good situation to be in. Dummy, however, laying a nice little sticky trap down right here. I don't know if that's going to be too terribly visible to the, re the enemy team, but mix up, I think they're just going to go ahead and push in through this side, so it doesn't even matter if they can see it or not, because they are not walking over it, and mix up, they... They've got a charge. Pure is ready to pop that Uber right now. Let me get on the Pure cam, and we'll just see exactly when he decides to pop this. Because he wants to hold on to it if he can until his team is ready to push into last point. But no, he does go ahead and pop right now. He sees there's a lot of danger coming in for his teammates, and he wants to make sure they stay alive. Because, you know, if you lose your soldiers, then all of a sudden you're not able to push anywhere most of the time. Especially not if you mix up, because they've got amazing soldiers. Harblue and Tyler. TLR. So a big bomb in coming from... Who is that? Oh, why is he 50 going on a huge streak? Even though I totally missed that, but Mezzer was getting attacked himself in the meantime. You know what? We're going to go back and check that YZ50 streak out. All right. So while all that fighting was going on, YZ50 sneaks in through this cheese. This was called the cheese area, and he gets around behind the enemy team. They are not aware of where he is, although I think in the back of their minds, some of them should have known, but he sees the Uber. He sees it fading out, and at this point, he's just like, okay, well, I'm going to get in behind them or uh, something. It's like he was maybe looking for some spawn camps, but he sees half his team is dead, and he wants to go in and help finish things off, make sure his team can defend this point. So he is going to come in, gets one kill right away on Ruin and another one on Pure. That's two kills for YZ50 with two scouts, basically, who should have been able to defend from that, but they just didn't know where he was, and so all of a sudden, Mix-Up is down by three players, and Enigma is trying his best to stop his enemies from recapturing this second point. They don't want to let that happen, but it just might happen anyway. Clockwork going to go ahead and force everybody out of there, and he is going to get the cap on the second point. Meanwhile, there is going to be some damage coming in. Wow, nice nice shot by Clockwork there, actually. It's one thing you don't notice too much, but uh, Clockwork goes ahead and just shoots the sticky bomb in front of his feet before it's detonated, and so Platinum never got to deal any damage with that. Platt, meanwhile, though, is laying down a bunch of damage now. He could trap Mezzer underneath the stairs, and he does get Mezzer trapped down there. So Mezzer's dead. Mezzer the medic for the Space Whales, a.k.a. the Bros, a.k.a. whatever you want to call them. Uh, that is going to probably be around for mix-up unless something crazy happens. It sounds like Pure is, once again, in a lot of trouble here, though, but he will get saved this time around. And Clockwork's going to... I'm sorry, YZ50's going to have to retreat. Clockwork is thinking about trying to delay this just a little bit here. And he's such a good scout. Like, every single thing he does here is masterwork. <laughs> he really is. He's an amazing scout. Um, but you did see, he, even he knew he was not going to be able to take on Ruin and Enigma and a soldier all at the same time in close quarters. So he went ahead and retreated back to last point. Uh, he knows that his team does not have quite enough maneuver advantage, and he drops down off of that pipe. That's an interesting position. Going to let him get a little bit of maneuvering room in behind the enemy team. Uh, Ruin and Tyler doing a lot of damage, though. Clockwork does get in on uh, Platinum, but it's not going to be enough, and Classic Mixup will win that round. So it is finally one-to-one -one here. Mix-Up able to win a round, but it took them a long time. They're going to have to find a way to deal with YZ50 because that scout is just ruining so many people's days. I'm going to watch the Blaze cam on this rollout, though. Blaze, uh, typically when he jumps, things die. So jump number one, nothing died. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> when he jumps at the enemy team. So we're going to find out whether the enemy team can really shut down Blaze here for the whales. He does go ahead and take a jump up here. Does not hit that air shot on the soldier that he was going for. So he's going to have to stay back and reload a couple rockets for a little while here. But he will go in pretty soon. Makes up losing a lot of players. Meanwhile, to Boomer and YZ50. Once again, Blaze is going to be the player to try and get the cleanup. And he does kill Pure with that last, you know, escape rocket that Pure was thinking about trying to avoid. No, sir. Pure will be cut down. And that means a huge advantage to Team Wales. Makes up is going to have Platinum alone laying some sticky traps down in the low ground. I wonder if anybody's going to see this, or if anybody's even going to take advantage of this. We're going to watch just for a second here. Platinum's watching. He knows. He wants to get a kill right here. Scout thinking about coming in, but he no, he spotted the Demo Man. And if you see a Demo Man basically standing around a corner like that, you know. It's like, oh, he's got a trap there. So, Platinum didn't get away with it that time, but he will start laying down some damage. Ruin's on the Sniper. Harblue is on the Heavy. We've got Blaze jumping in and killing Ruin already, though. So, uh, the Sniper is down. That's a pretty important kill there, so we can't get any more uh, headshots, or any headshots, really. And now Blaze just trying to deal some damage to this heavy weapons guy who is taking so many heals from his med, but it doesn't even matter as Mixup's losing almost all their players and the Whales going up 2-1 to one once again. Remember, the Whales are the, the third seed here in this tournament. Mixup heavily, heavy, heavy favorites to win this. And if the Whales end up actually winning this game, um, I hope I'm not spoiling it for you, but if the Whales actually end up winning this, they go on to the finals. And if, of course, if you've already seen this, then you're just like, okay, Sal, that's, that's nice. But we're getting out of the mid-fight once again. Dummy predicting where Platinum was going to go. 
And he did deal quite a lot of damage. So Platinum is going to have to take a lot of the heals from his med, which means not quite as many heals for the soldiers. Doesn't matter too much right now, but Hard Blue is down. You see the high ground held at the moment by Mixup, but that is going to be a very tenuous hold. Uh, oh my god, Boomer with two kills there on Ruin and Enigma at the same time. And that's going to leave a lot of room for YZ50 to try and chase down Pure. He is not going to get away here. YZ50 finishing him off somehow. I think he might have actually gotten slammed into the ground by some kind of explosion directly above his head. I don't know. Whatever. So YZ50 is now going to be jumping in and starting to cap this second point very, very quickly. Mixup need to hold this, or they are going to go down in a very early first half. It is going to be bad. And Enigma goes ahead and starts to lay down a sentry gun once again, but already it's been taken out. He is not happy about that. He really would have preferred his toy to stay alive for just a little bit longer. But a very good push so far by the whales. They've gotten uh, no kills yet, though. But Tyler does take a nice crossbow hit from Mezzer. It's just not going to be quite enough. And Mixup actually managed to get that uh, a surprising amount of kills there. The, considering their opponents had an uber, that uber was not useful. And Tyler taking down Clockwork like it's nothing. Like he's just like, yeah, I expected you to be there. Of course, he must have, I guess. And now we're going to have Tyler jumping up forward to help his team move into this position. Uh, this was... I'm, I'm telling you, I, didn't, I did not get to watch this game because I was in class and I was like cursing my economics professor. Even though it was a fun class, I was just like, oh, I could be watching a game right now. But uh, this is an amazing, amazing game so far. I'm really enjoying it. Tyler is going to be ready to jump forward, I think. Taking the Uber which is pretty standard for him, but uh, they do have to deal with Blaze behind their own lines. They see the uh, sticky trap there, and they go ahead and start capping this midpoint once again. Clockwork and the rest of his team are staying pretty far behind here. Um, they're, they're trying to put some choke point space and some spam space between their team and the enemies. That's, that's one thing that's important to do in 6v6 like this. You'll see a lot of this happen where... Uh, if you don't have an Uber, you need some advantage. And so that advantage usually is that you're going to... Oh! Sick Sticky Trap! Platinum destroying Mezzer there. And now the Whales are in a very bad position. Dummy down, Clockwork down, Harblue doing a lot of damage. He dies as well, but it's just Blaze left. And I don't think Blaze is going to be able to take all these players down by himself. He might get Platinum here, but no, Plat is taking the heals. And so Blaze is just going to have to try and retreat. Very, very beautiful rocket jumping, though. And he's... Ooh, he's getting around behind enemy lines. I don't think they realized he was there. That was really amazing movement by Blaze. I don't think anybody knows where he is right now. And he could actually force an Uber out of Blaze very quickly here. Uh, Pure, I'm sorry. Force an Uber out of Pure, not Blaze. He misses the shot, but he does go ahead and force that Uber. Pure, not going to be able to use this Uber to go into last. And he's a little upset about that, probably. Kind of wishes he knew where Blaze was, but you know, uh, Pure's a pretty cool guy, for the most part. So I'm assuming he didn't he didn't yell too much about that. He was probably just like, okay, whatever, we'll just, we'll just keep going. And Mixup's going to try pushing in to tie this game up as the Whales are desperately ready to defend their last point. You do see Mezzer with some very nice dodges against Hard Blue. He's just like, yeah, Hard Blue, you can fire rockets all you want, but they are not going to touch me. And, uh, oh, he's actually got a diamond bot killer. I didn't realize that, but that is that is bling right there. Am I allowed to say that word? Uh, probably not. It's it's It doesn't roll off the tongue for me, I'm afraid. But Mezzer has Zuber. So that means that this defense is going to be much easier with that Uber charge than it would have been if Mixup were able to push in, you know, like a minute ago with their own Uber. So Blaze basically saved that round for his team, but will the Whales be able to properly defend this? I don't know. We'll have to see who decides to eventually make the push in. Uh, we see somebody going into the drop down. I think that's going to be Hard Blue. Hard Blue is in the drop down right now. He's just looking for somebody to kill. He at least does some damage there to the retreating soldier of Blaze. But. Nothing going to happen yet. It's Romer versus Romer action right now. Harblue tries to make a jump in, actually flubs it a little bit, but that is going to be the Uber popped from the whales for some reason. I, maybe it was because of a... I don't even know. Mezzer just went ahead and popped it like a panic pop or something. But the rest of his team, I mean, he, it's six versus three right now. And mix up, uh, they could go for a back cap here, but that's really their only hope because they are not going to be able to stop this. Blaze going ahead and getting on top of enemy team. Mix up does get the kill on Clockwork, though. And now Blaze down as well. Ruin able to totally make defense of pure look easy. Now, Ruin is down himself, and Pure's probably going to have to pop this Uber sooner or later, uh, but so far they haven't had to do that. There you go. He will finally pop the Uber through that little choke point in the gate, just to make sure that they hold on to the point, and they can get forward, start capping. You see that Tyler wants to get in here with his full 200 health now, and Pure's trying to keep his scouts alive, trying to keep his soldiers alive. Mezzer trying to keep himself alive, meanwhile. This med is very, very damaged. It's very lit in TF2 lingo. Lit up. It comes from... I think it comes from from military lingo, where you just say light it up, or, or that's, you know, light up a target, I guess. That's the idea. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe, 
Maybe he's lit because he has a spotlight on him. Maybe I'm just a complete idiot. But the whales try to push out here. They lose Mezer immediately to a nice bomb from Harblue. And you see Mezer was just not prepared for that. He wasn't even looking. Uh, Boomer with a lot of damage on right now. But the whales still do manage to cap. And you're going to see some damage come out of them. Uh, dummy, though, will die here. So it's really just up to Blaze on the heavy. And YZ50 on the scout. YZ does get a nice kill on Tyler, but he's going to have to retreat. Yeah, tough guy. Uh, and Pure, remember, has almost 100% Uber. Uh, mix up doing his... Uh, I'm sorry, Enigma. Wow, I can't even talk. Enigma doing his, his crouch jumping. Uh, just a little, little heavy dance here. But he's going to sit here and wait for enemies to potentially push into them. Clockwork's on the sniper. He might be able to save this round for them by sniping anybody who walks in. But we've seen Mix-Up play really solidly. Like, they pop their Uber as soon as they walk around a choke point. So they don't want to really expose Pure to potentially getting killed. Yeah, there you go. They pop that Uber before Clockwork is ever able to take a single shot. So everybody's invincible right now. Mix-Up pushing in, trying to get the kills. They lose Hard Blue, but they kill Mezzer. It's not a terrible trade. Um, now Blaze is down, but you do see some good damage coming out of YZ50 and his team. That doesn't matter, though. Ruin going to tie things up here with another capture. Whew. The whales, I mean, they're doing an amazing job right now. Um, or they were on this land, because technically they're not playing right now. <laughs> it's a demo. A, a demo file. A recording. It's a recording. That's, that's the best way to call it. But Mixup are going to try to get to another mid-fight here. And maybe they can turn this thing around now and make it a little bit less of the close game that it is. Because this is a close game. A lot closer than anybody gave the Whales credit for going up against Mix-Up. I mean, throughout the season, uh, what you really saw was... Um, uh, you saw, for most of the season, the Whales were kind of had a reputation of being a team that didn't practice. But then, uh, come land time, suddenly they were the team like that was practicing potentially even the most. I don't know. Uh, mix of course, all these teams were certainly practicing quite a lot. But uh, the Whales were putting in a lot of practice time, especially once they picked up Clockwork. And it definitely shows. You can see them doing an amazing job here. Uh, they go ahead and pop the Uber. Pure is going to pop his encounter, though. And I think that's going to mean that Mezzer needs to... Yeah, you see the red team there retreating, trying to get out, because they know that the enemy's Uber was popped popped later, so it's going to last longer, you know, like the minty freshness of spearmint gum, and um, and so they have to retreat because they don't want to deal with an invincible player, but they are trying to re-push right now, nobody's actually captured this midpoint yet, and Pure is trying to keep himself alive here, uh, looks like he will, nobody's really chasing him down, but Harblue smacks into that wall and dies, and no, YZ50 facing down and finishing off Pure, so the whales with that re-push, that was absolutely amazing. The Whales looked like they could win this and bring themselves into the upper bracket finals. Which, uh, if, if you have not had this spoiled for you, then you are excited. The Whales absolutely doing an amazing job here. And looks like they want to jump up pretty soon, take this second point. Can they do it? Can they take the first map of the season off of their opponents ever? It's, uh, it doesn't all come down to this, but it, a lot of it comes down to what happens here. Uh, and they do go ahead and pop that Uber. Yavol, says the medic as he pops. And they're just not able to kill the scout, which is kind of too bad. Uh, Boomer doesn't know where he went. And so, wow, I think that was Ruin, actually, with the world's most amazing dodging skills right there. He will go ahead and grab a health kit and be good to go for another fight. Mix up with uh, a, a pretty solid hold there against that Uber. So, Mezzer not able to do anything, and partly because the, the player he was Ubered, Boomer, um, was focusing his attention on a scout that did not die for the entire Uber. That's, uh, that's pretty important. And so now, since this is such a game of Ubers... Sort of like a Game of Thrones, except the throne is invincibility from a medic gun. Um, it's such a game of Ubers, and now you're going to see Mixup probably push in here with the Uber advantage they have. It's only 20%, but they probably want to try it? No? Maybe? I don't know. They're actually standing pretty far back here. So never mind. They don't want to try it. Uh, YZ50 jumping in and getting a kill on Platinum. The Demo Man is down. That's probably a pretty good trade. Um, taking, trading a scout for a demo is usually a solid idea, and so you are going to see now uh, Team Whales try and jump in here and pressure their opponents once again, but Clockwork down to Ruin, and actually Enigma and Ruin, the scout combo, the duo from hell, destroying their opponents here. The Whales not able to get anything done, and I think they're feeling a little bit upset after that one. The uh, That push, they were basically like waiting for their opponents to push into them so they could make things happen, and instead, they were forced to push into their opponents. Um, not necessarily forced, but Otherwise, it was just going to be a really boring match, and they were like, nah, we'll push. That didn't work. Didn't work at all. 
So Medjo's going to have to retreat here with the rest of his team. They are going to give up the middle point, probably. You do see a soldier jumping in right now, and Dummy wants to lay down a couple of stickies here to try and defend as well. Harblue and Ruin are both down, plus Dummy's up here, able to kill Tyler. No, that was YZ50 actually finishing off Tyler. So YZ is just on a rampage right now. He is dead, I think, actually. Platinum got the kill on him. But Dummy's leading his med, and Clockwork now taking the vanguard position as they push in. They really want to get a lot of damage done here. It is, wow, Demo Spam versus Demo Spam with Platinum versus Dummy just, like, not backing down. Actually, Dummy eventually did back down there. But they are now ready to charge, and you do see uh, both teams with the Uber. Once again, Space Wheel is going to try and push this one in. Maybe they can take it this time, but no, Clockwork dies first. Once again, he, he seems to be the first one to die in a lot of these situations. Ruin wants to chase down this med, but no, he actually uh, gets thwarted away by a rocket there. With only 20 health left, he will get the kill on YZ, but YZ was tunnel visioned onto Platinum, and he got that kill. Uh, still, the Whales only have three players alive right now. So the five, now four players of Mixup. That was a good kill by Blaze, once again, taking down Hardblue, but maybe Hardblue wasn't the highest value kill there, as Mixup are going to be able to push forward and should finally be able to capture this middle point. It's only dummy Clockwork and Mezzer, but you know, you say that. And it's, quote-unquote, only dummy Clockwork and Mezzer. Those are some of the best players in TF2. So let's let's not uh, let's not discount that. But they have to face off against four or five of their opponents at the same time. And they know that's going to be a, an uphill battle, probably a losing battle against Mixup, who also have some of the best players in TF2. Ruin considered, like, the best scout. Tyler considered one of the best soldiers. Um, Tyler, though, does get taken down by Boomer. And Boomer, of course, showing himself to be absolutely brilliant in this game. Enigma with his sparkly community scatter gun doing an amazing job here. And Mixup now potentially going to lose this midpoint once again. They've lost quite a few players. Enigma getting taken down and just kind of sliding off towards that door there. You know, doing a face plant into the ground. The Whales with a beautiful Uber right now. It's looking pretty solid for both teams. But no, you know, Mixup lost a couple players here. And they are going to get backed out of mid. And this might just be the moment I was waiting for because people told me it was going to happen. And I'm pretty sure it's going to happen. Yes, it is. Okay, here's here's the thing. So you see the Space Whales uh, capturing the middle point right now. Enigma actually spawned as a heavy in his forward spawn. But no, you know what? This might not even be that moment. But he did go ahead and uh, spawn as heavy. And uh, is now just going to be in position to defend the second point very effectively from his opponents. Uh, doing a, you know, a lot of chip damage, basically. He's not doing a lot of damage per shot when he's at this range, but he's able to just chip his opponents away, keep his opponents from being able to jump too much. Eh, it's a useful thing to do. However, Pure is taking a lot of damage here, and Mixup haven't really gotten a solid trade right now. In fact, Ruin down uh, means it's going to be tough for Mixup to really push out once again. Uh, pushing with a heavy, a very difficult thing to do unless your opponents have just wiped out and died, and that's not what's happened here. Enigma, though, able to take down Boomer very effectively, and the Uber is popped right now. Uh, in fact, just finishing off Enigma with 150 health here. They want to try and stop the cap, and Harblue will jump in, getting the kill on Clockwork. In oh my god, look at that kill feed. Harblue and Enigma doing an amazing job. It was, it was, that was pretty much all Harb right there, destroying the enemy team, and he did get taken out by YZ50, actually, uh, who has just been on a rampage all game. And you look at that, he's actually outscoring everybody else except the medic on his team, which is pretty good considering medics get like a point for every 600 health they heal. Uh, as well as points for assists and points for ubers and, you know, all kinds of stuff. But yeah, uh, so Mixup managed to just keep their heavy alive for long enough that really uh, whales didn't feel like they could push in against that. And now Mixup holding, oh, not holding the middle point. I thought they were, but Ruin is in trouble right now against the scout. Is that clockwork? It is actually YZ50. I wish I knew what these guys, like, I, I should know their their loadouts by now. I should just know what they look like. A bad cap going on, though. And so, YZ50 feeling a little bit upset about this one, probably. They're going to have to turn around and stop that from happening. Mezzer trying to get some of the cap by himself, but Harblue is going to jump in here and help take things down. Uh, Tyler actually retreats from that soldier. He didn't like that fight. And Mezzer is still alive, so Harblue was not able to get the kill this time. He is still sneaking around behind, though. He spots things happening, and he does find the med! Oh my god, Mezzer, you are in such trouble right now. Harblue with a beautiful kill on Mezzer, and all of a sudden, things are not looking good for the whales. They don't have any more heals, and their opponents are in behind. That was an amazing series of kills by Mixup, uh, and that was a complete wipeout by the Space Whales. So uh, all of a sudden, Mixup back on top here. They get the cap on the middle point once again. And Harblue is ready to jump right away. Wow, that's, that's an impressive jump. Uh, of course, it's a, a jump he's probably practiced quite a bit to make sure he can do it consistently, but you saw how fast it got him in that position. 
That's an important thing to do as a roaming soldier. You need to be able to jump like that pretty much all the time. Consistently make amazing jumps. And that's one thing that Sea Bear and everybody else will tell you as well, is that they, they just they practice the jumps. Tyler taken down by a sticky trap from Dummy somewhere, though. And uh, Pierre is going to go ahead and retreat out of here. Oh, no, I'm sorry, retreat out of here. He's, he's popped the Uber, so he's in. Mezzer taking a lot of damage. Uh, the point is not captured yet. Mezzer is still alive with 11 health right now, just barely dodging all these pipes coming in from Platinum. And he is able to stay alive. So jumping over here, uh, Enigma going on the spy right now. An interesting play. Uh, but I don't think it's going to matter too much as Tyler's been finished off. Boomer finishing him off there with the uh, the points. Taking the points. He's actually like lowest scoring in this game here along with Hard Blue, which is a little bit weird, but uh, he may have been shut down. And I think a lot of the... Oh, Enigma with a stab on a dummy. He does get taken out himself, but that is a useful stab to make because it's going to slow down the push considerably from the whales. It might even stop it. But Mezzer, he's just like, no, sir, we've got an Uber. We're pushing this in right now. Boomer able to take down Hard Blue very effectively. Spotted that coming in, and so the Uber could get popped here. Doesn't even have to necessarily, though. Uh, Enigma is going to respawn, though. I think he's going to respawn as heavy again. This, this is what I was waiting for. Okay, so point getting captured once again. That is the midpoint getting captured. And now you see Mix-Up retreating here. Um, but what's going to happen is uh, Enigma is still sitting in his forward spawn. He's just sitting here. He's waiting for enemies to walk out. And you see the whales, they're right here. Enigma, he's, he's waiting, he's waiting. He sees them, he's st they've started to cap, and he's just walking out behind. Nobody paying any attention, and he destroys YZ50. Takes down Clockwork. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. The forward spawn heavy going to town on the space whales. They have just been wiped out once again. Enigma with the heavy weapons guy ambush. That's what happens when you let a heavy get too close to you. It really is. It's, it's an awful thing. And so all of a sudden, Mix-Up are very, very ready to take this round. I, I think the whales, probably that would be a extremely frustrating play to have Enigma all of a sudden like, wait, there's a heavy? Why, why is there a heavy? And so your entire team just gets wiped out because you didn't check forward spawn. But you know, you got to be looking at forward spawn in a situation like that. And it's just one of those one of those many things that players have to think about. You constantly have to be thinking, you know, check around the corner, check forward spawn, check the hiding spots, look up, look down, look for bombers. Yeah, there's so much to think about that sometimes just one thing slips. And that one thing ends up being a heavy walking out of forward spawn and mowing down your entire team. So Enigma, crazy, crazy play there to help his team cap the point. And I am like rocking back and forward in my chair right now. That's what that uh, creaking sound is. Confused me the first time. But second time I figured it out. <laughs> uh, no, Mixup is ready to push forward now, and they might just win this round based on Enigma's heavy play, which uh, I'd be fair. That would definitely be a fair thing to do. Tyler making a very aggressive jump into the enemy's faces. He does force an Uber pop out of them. Why is he getting taken down? And now Clockwork down as well. Both, uh, both of the world's most amazing scouts, basically, um, for the whales. Popped into oblivion. And now Tyler will hit a rocket, splash damage around there, finishing off uh, Dummy. Boomer's killed, Blaze is killed. It's just two players left for mix-up, but it doesn't matter. Now, uh, you will see Clockwork and YZ probably try to do something here. YZ has actually been, I think, playing a little bit more of the, the crazy scout role, but both of them, both YZ50 and Clockwork, have kind of similar play styles in that they both love to just wreck people. They don't care what the consequences are. They'll just run straight into you and try to get two or three kills before they die. And you do see that, as a result, both of them are top scoring on their team. So, very important kills if Mixup can kill those two scouts. That's an important thing to do. Clockwork is on the sniper right now. He's once again going to try and kill people before they get through here. Because if he can kill just one person, that means it's six against five. And it's a very good situation to be in. But I don't know if they're going to be able to do it now. Clockwork, of course, uh, he knows his enemies are very likely to just pop the Uber straight around the corner. And then he's not going to be able to get any kills at all. Oh, it's a Kritzkrieg, actually. He's, he waits to see. Oh, no, he missed Pure. Or he might have gotten a body shot there. But regardless, he did not stop the crits. And uh, it doesn't even matter. Dummy actually gets a couple kills here as Mezzer goes down. But uh, Mix-Up losing everybody on this. That crits was completely ineffective. Um, you saw Platinum jump out there and lay down one crit sticky. And if you, if you miss that first crit sticky, you're basically toast. Um, and I'm going to add that, by the way, to my, my line of Wonder Bread products that I think they should make. Uh, along with completely toast and 100% toast, they should also make basically toast which is uh, it's definitely not the premium model. It doesn't come with any toast options. It's just like your, your basic toast. It's basically toast. Anyway, uh, I'm done with my, my ramble on why I should never talk again. But Clockwork taking, I think, a health kit there, maybe some heals, but he will get taken out real fast and mix up suddenly. Oh, my God, Hard Blue. He's already on last. He's already on last. His opponents are not ready for this, and Hard Blue able to get it on top of Mezzer. Mezzer with a huge surf to save himself. Um, but he is still taking a lot of heat here. And oh my god, Ruin comes in and kills him 
in spawn. That door was still open just for long enough for Ruin to get the shot. This is TF2 at its finest. And suddenly another Chris Creed coming in. Blaze trying to stop this. And he does get a huge rocket there on Pyrrha. But is it going to be enough? They can't kill the soldier on the point. Yes, they actually can. But now Dummy's trying to walk in. He's not able to get this thing quite finished off yet. Uh, Mezer will respawn. Wants to try and heal his scout up here as much as he possibly can. He needs to make sure everybody is a f in fighting shape for this. There's a spy on the point once again. It sounds like uh, no, Enigma is actually just uh, getting in position now. Never mind, he's not on the point. But in this case, the spy is probably a very, very well advised play. Harblue tries to jump in, maybe to make something happen, but he's down. Enigma is going to go ahead and, uh, and cloak up, I think. Maybe not. Yeah, he's going to cloak up try to walk around here, and you see exactly what he's doing with the invisibility watch. Uh, a scout is on the point. He does get stopped. Dummy trying to get on there as well, but Enigma is actually a little bit late to the party. However, he does decloak, and nothing happens. Doesn't get any sort of kills there whatsoever. So, well played by the whales once again on defense, but but not on offense so much. Clockwork tried to walk out there and get a kill and just didn't manage to make anything happen. Harblue with a nice kill of his own. He's going to go ahead and jump at the drop down again. Which is uh, it's this little snaking corridor here on Snake Water. I don't, I'm not sure I ever actually said the map, but uh, you know, if if you've ever watched TF2 before, you know it's it's CP Snake Water. If you haven't, then uh, whatever. But the Uber is popped, and you see Hardblue. He's like, oh, there's an Uber out there. I guess I'll just wait. That's that's the best option to do if you're ever playing competitive TF2. Just wait out the Uber if you have a good hiding spot from it. And once again, a solid defense here, wiping their opponents out. So that is halftime, two to two. Oh. An incredible first half where the whales managed to keep it two to two, which is uh, as good, I think, as anybody's almost done all season against Classic Mixup. So we'll see if they can keep the streak alive. So far, I'm going to watch the ruin cam here at mid, and you, you do see this this beautiful middle point here on Snake Water. It's nice clockwork taken down right away by some stickies though, and that does not bode well for the space wheels. We got some big soldier jumps coming in, and now Ruin is going to start trying to finish people off here. He's chasing down a dummy and his medic. He's going to go ahead and get in from the side. Looks like his entire team decided to do the same thing, but it doesn't matter too much. I mean, Enigma's down, but Ruin able to keep some heals on him, and he is still alive and kicking, able to finish off a lot of those players now. Uh, oh, no, Harblue! I need to see what happened there. Okay, so instant replay action. We have the same stuff that we saw before. Uh, the entire mix-up team starting to push through here. This is where Ruin was starting to do some crazy stuff. Harblue sneaks in straight to enemy last point, grabs a little bit of health here so he can make another jump, and nobody sees it, or they do see him. It doesn't matter because he's jumping up in the air, and that's how he gets the kill on Mezzer. That is an amazing kill there because it means that mix-up will not have any trouble pushing into last <laughs> Chaser boy says Mezzer. He's he's a little little confused at how how Harblue was able to so effectively chase him for that entire thing. But this is probably going to be a quick round. Um, Platinum and Ruin actually down though to Dummy and Boomer. But you know uh, it's just Dummy and Blaze left alive now. Pure trying to keep his players healed up. He was thinking about needling somebody to death, but that's not going to happen. And somehow the whales actually managed to hold on to that. They got two important picks right off the bat. It was basically the people who were not being Ubered, which sounds obvious in retrospect, but. Uh, they were able to focus their attention on players who were a little bit hurt, and they destroyed them. So the whale's still holding on, and this this bug has been happening quite a lot here. Yeah, it's, it's still happening. So Mezzer's on, on the blue team, but his gloves and his medigun are red. Um, it seems like it happens every time they switch sides for whatever reason. I don't know what the deal is, but that's, uh, that's what happens. Mezzer, though, is uh, he's seeing his team lose one member, Clockwork. I was, I was going to say something like he's seeing a team crumble, but really it's just one one player who died. It's not a huge deal. Um, got the potential for Blaze to die up there, but Blaze, Blaze knows how to stay out. And the Whales almost have their Uber. They're they're holding, I guess, pretty standard. Enigma, once again, on the heavy weapons guy. He, he loves playing heavy, apparently. That's just, that's just what he likes to do. Clockwork going to try and go for some headshots here. There's a sticky trap in the same place, so of course... Oh! Doesn't have to go for a headshot, just takes a body shot on the hard blue. Platinum down once again. Uh, Tyler and Ruin down as well, and my god, the whales are so good on this last point defense. They're going to go ahead and push out once again, capture that last point. They've got to... Uh-oh. Oh! You know what's going to happen here. Uh, Pure is going to go ahead and pop his Uber now to stop this cap. This is actually a really interesting play. It didn't work out, I think, the way they wanted it to. Um, normally when you suicide in the four players, you get the kill on the enemy med, or you get the force, then they get away. Uh, and in this case, really, like, a lot of them got cut down before they were able to get there. So they, they did get the force on Mezzer, but, um, but that's why basically Enigma was standing there with Pure. He was sitting back and making sure the medic on his own team stayed alive, while the rest of his team pushed forward and tried to get a kill on the enemy med. 
and it didn't work. So we're basically back to square one. They might try the same play again, and they might try something different. But mix up. They're still in a good position to uh, to take this round. They still, of course, are attacking their opponent's last point. Mezer has an Uber Charge ready to go here with his his blue heal beam coming out of his red medigun. That really should never happen. And Tyler, the only one overhealed right now. He's taking all the overheals from Pierre. So it looks like they are ready to maybe make a. Uh, no, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing right now. They're just trying to keep him safe from clockwork, I guess. Clockwork going for another headshot there. Doesn't manage to hit anything so far. And now he's in trouble. He's getting pressured by a soldier, by two soldiers. Pure down the... What? Okay, more instant replay action. I swear I'm going to, like, double the length of this game. But you're interested. You're interested. And he is going to go ahead and use the drop down. Nobody saw him up here. He's in the window. Like, he's so visible. But apparently, Mix Up were just not checking this. They were trying to avoid all the spam and keep their meta alive. And so, Blaze, he's, he's in the drop down. He's just like, oh, well, I mean, nobody sees me. So, I guess I'll just go for the kill and go for the kill. He will. He sees Pure right here. And Pure eats two rockets simultaneously. He couldn't respond fast enough. That was an amazing, amazing jump by Blaze, showing why he's considered the best roamer in the game, basically. And, uh, it... It shows. It absolutely shows. Enigma, one of the last players left alive, trying to hide here. He's just hiding underneath this little ramp. Um, it's not something you, you normally think of doing with a heavy, but no, he will totally hide. And the sneakiest heavy in the world comes out behind. It helps destroy Mezer here, along with Harblue. A nice big uh, soldier dive bomb. And Enigma's taking a lot of damage, though. He's probably going to end up dying here, but not before he does just a little bit more damage to Clockwork. Clockwork down to Tyler. And now Ruin takes down Dummy. That's going to be a big pick. Mezzer's down as well. Blaze is one of the last people left alive to try and stop and save his last point. And Pure, remember, has a big Uber advantage now. 40% almost Uber advantage. Blaze is trying to keep his med healing as fast as possible and building the Uber as fast as possible. Um, because Uber actually builds faster if you're healing somebody who's not at full overheal. So if you are at full overheal, or if you're being healed by a dispenser or whatever else, uh, Uber builds slower if you're healing that person. So they, they want to build Uber as fast as possible, but so is Pure. They're building that Uber fast. They're going to go ahead and push in right the heck now. They're ready. They're I, I swear they're going to do it. All right, there they go. Pop the Uber around the corner once again. Pure does not want to take any damage here, and he does uh, immediately send Tyler in to kill YZ50. There's a lot of players on the point right now, a lot of time on that point. Mezzer down, Boomer down. There's only a couple players left alive for the Whales, and that is finally a round in favor of Classic Mix-Up. Oh, my God. Okay, so... um. I keep thinking, here's what I'm going to do, uh, if, if there's enough demand for this, by the way, and I want you guys to kind of respond in the comments if A, you're still watching, and B, you're interested in this, but I'm going to make an announcer pack for TF2 um, to replace the, the administrator, basically, the, the, the lady who says 54321 and everything. I'm going to make a pack that replaces that with my voice, uh, if you're interested, because that, that way it would be just like I was shoutcasting your game of TF2, and it would be hilarious, I think, I think. Especially with, the, like, whenever you lose and I can, like, insult you, that'd be a lot of fun. So, uh, once again, a mid-fight here. This time around, going decisively to mix-up so far. Measured down already. Pure is still alive at 150 health. Ruin taking a lot of damage, but, uh, no, that is almost a complete wipe out there. And, in fact, Dummy may have just respawned, yeah. No, he's actually, no, he didn't. He, uh, he got away temporarily, but he's gonna have to be careful. He's gonna get trapped in here real- Oh, he's trapped. Oh, Dummy! Nothing he can do about that. Dummy is down. Mix-up, 100% uber advantage, and now they are starting to look like the mix-up we all know and love. The team that single-handedly crushed everyone at I-46. The team that has never lost a map so far. Mix-up looking so solid here. Able to take down Blaze. Starting to shoot down the rest of their opponents just with these shotguns, whatever they have available. Time on the point. It is now 4-2 to for Classic Mix-Up. They only need to score one more point to win this game. We'll see whether they can do it. May just stay on the Tyler cam here as he is getting so many kills right now. But actually, we haven't watched Platinum like at all, so maybe we should do that a little bit. He he, he might be upset at me if if I don't uh, don't show his cam at least once because uh, you know he likes he likes to be on camera. Gonna lay down his first sticky right away, trying to hit Dunny with that. Doesn't manage to hit anything yet, but it's fairly standard, you know. Now, however, Plat is gonna start laying down the damage. Somehow manages to just barely shimmy over those rockets, and oh, a sick air shot! So I'm glad I picked this cam. Goes ahead and uh, lays down a lot of damage on that jumping dive bombing soldier. But Mixup actually looks like they're going to have to retreat. Um, Pure in a little bit of trouble here, so Platt's going to come try and help him out, and he will take down Blaze very effectively. And Pure and Platt will just back off the two 
players whose names start with P on their team are the ones who survive that mid-fight, and they will be able to effectively defend their second point very, very easily. Uh, because they got an Uber. Almost, almost have an Uber. In fact, they have it about the same time as Mezzer, so they are perfectly fine. And Platt's going to start just trying to spam a little bit here, maybe force his opponents, but you know the Whales are actually still in a pretty decent position to to make this a closer game. YZ50 taken down, though, and that is a pretty big blow to the Space Whales. Um... To their, to their blowhole, perhaps. I don't know. I'm pretty sure Space Wheels have blowholes. Uh, but dummy down right away. Uh, the Uber exchange is not going well here for the whales. They finally take down Ruin, but Blaze is just not able to hit enough rockets here. Remember, he's a roaming soldier. He's probably running with e the gunboats. Yes, uh, we just barely managed to witness that there. Oh my god, Platinum taking him out of the air once again with the sick pipes. Platinum is just on fire right now. And so, yeah, that's... Uh, well, the, the point I wanted to make about gunboats was that he had no shotgun, so he wasn't able to just whip out the shotgun and finish off those scouts. He had to hit them with rockets, and rockets are easier to dodge than a shotgun sometimes. Uh, but mix up, they're, they're in a good position to win this. Blaze is on the sniper as a last-ditch attempt to try and stop this game from going south, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Blaze, he's got his SMG out for some reason. I don't know if he realizes that. Uh, he's probably just, yeah, he's changing back over to Soldier. He was thinking about maybe getting a kill, but uh, decided against that. And now, Mixup going to push in once again. 100% Uber advantage. They're pushing in here, and they want to win it. They've got a scout on the point already, and he's going to go start the cap. Actually, gets a little bit of Uber on him just there at the very end to try and save his life. Uh, the Whales are getting a lot of good kills here. Pure pulling out the needles, though, and that is it. The game is over. 5-2. to two. Classic Mixup finally taking it against their opponents. We put up such an incredible, extraordinary fight against them. Now, of course, this was part one of a two-part series, but I'm actually not going to cast out of their map. Um, they've all been cast out already, and if you want to see, I think eventually the videos are going to get uploaded on the Vanilla TV YouTube. But right now, they are all on the ESEA Orange stream as part of one big video, or maybe maybe two or three. So I highly recommend checking those out, because they were casted by some of the best casters in the biz. You know, you had uh, Lang on camera, which is going to be better than my camera work. You had Seabear and DJC and Sigma. Admirable was casting some of the games over from Vanilla TV. I mean, just an incredible combo. So I highly recommend that you check those out. I also highly recommend that you subscribe to YouTube.com slash FatMop, because uh, why not? Why not? And if you're still here, remember to like and comment and do all those things. And if you're one of those people who doesn't, then I'm not talking to you. But apparently, uh, some people are just forgetful. And if I remind them to press the like button or the comment button, they actually do it. <laughs> and if I don't, they don't. So it's that's the only reason. Um, anyway, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. And of course, I'm going to bring you lots of TF2 action in the future, along with my silly Dwarf Fortress crap. See you later!